So here's our owl picture. We just got done watching the PowerPoint and talking about owls and art, and now we're going to move on to making our drawing. When we get done, we're going to have a picture that looks something like this. This is obviously a watercolor, and you are going to first create the drawing, and then we'll work on some of the watercolor aspects of it, as well as some of the oil pastel aspects of it. So um, as we draw, make sure that you use very light pencil lines, making sure you press down very gently because a lot of our lines like you can see right here we're gonna want to erase later so that they don't show up in our final picture and we're gonna sharpie over all of our lines so it looks something like this before we start our watercolor so you want to make sure that you only have lines that you want for sharpieing and everything else you can erase you can see that there used to be a line right here for my main oval but it's now since erased and you can't see it so as we go through, you want to draw very, very lightly. Okay, so um, you're going to start by getting an 80 pound piece of paper, which you should already have, and you're going to put your first name, Mr., and your last name, Lundgren, if you can. And then you're going to put your teacher's name. Let's pretend this is Mrs. Galvin's class. Galvin. Okay, now we're gonna get flip your paper over and we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started by making a simple oval. Now everyone's oval is gonna look a little different and that's okay, but you want your oval to fill a fair amount of the paper and you want it to look nice and neat. Remember you're not pushing hard because you don't want to make a big sloppy line that you can't erase later. You want to make sure you can erase your lines. So there's my oval. Your next shape is going to be a triangle. You're going to make a horizontal line like this. And you want the point of your triangle to be down about there. So you're going to take a diagonal line up to the edges of your triangle like that. So we have a triangle. Okay. And now we're going to take the eyes and we're going to draw a half circle. You're going to actually draw three half circles. You're going to start almost at the corner, a little bit inside of the corner, and you're going to draw a half circle like this, almost down to the point like that. Okay, then you're going to draw it again. Now, this is the eye for our owl. And then one last time like this. This is going to be the black part, this is going to be the yellow part, and this is going to be like the brownish part around the outside. Okay? Do the other or do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to draw one more circle like this and another circle like this and another circle like that. Okay? So there is the two eyes for our owl. Now, we're going to do two little or we're going to do one more little triangle here. And we're going to do a triangle from here down and a triangle from here down and that's the little beak for our, our um, owl. Okay. Now we're going to take some wings. We're going to start kind of like right up here at the edge of the eye and we're going to just copy the side of the body and we're going to make a parallel line. It's going to just curve down like this and stop about there. Then you're going to do a wiggly line down from in between the eye and the nose. And you're just going to go wiggle, 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 and meet up with the outside edge there. Okay, do the same thing on the other side a curved line to about there. And then a wiggle, 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 like that. Okay, and what we've done there is we've kind of started some overlapping happening with our wings overlapping our body okay now as we go through here you can take this moment to erase you're gonna get your eraser you should have an eraser in your eraser cup and if you don't raise your hand and I'll bring one over okay but you should have an eraser and just take your eraser and erase these lines I'm gonna put a little X on the line so you know which ones this one this one all the way up, but you're going to leave the bottom of it right there. Okay, so I'm just going to take my eraser and erase it so it doesn't get too much in our way. Okay, I'm going to leave it a little bit there because I can erase it more fully 
once we get to sharpening. Okay, but you don't want to erase your eyeballs. Okay, and you don't want to erase your wings. So just you know, do a little quick job of erasing there, and we can we can erase more of it later. Okay, now we're going to do the ears right up here at the top corner. You're just going to do a kind of curved line up and a curved line up like that, almost like a teardrop, and do the same thing on the other side like that. And now I like to put a little line in the middle so it looks like you can see the inside of his ear. And then we're going to do the feet. And the feet are just um, two lines. One, two, and then you're going to put an M in between. And your M is going to go up, down, up, down. So you can see that M right there in between his feet. So there's one foot. Here's our other foot. And I'm going to do another M. One, two, three, like that. And that's our other foot. Okay? Now we're going to take a little overlapping again here. And we're going to make um, a branch for him to be sitting on. We're going to just take a kind of straight, almost straight, but a little bit wiggly, not super wiggly line like this. And then we're going to curve it out. And we're going to wiggle it behind his wing. Meet up with his body. Come out the other side of his body right here and then make an oval at the end and make a little oval so it looks like a cut off branch and then wiggle back over this way and down so here on the outside edge we've got our tree trunk we've got a little branch that our owl is sitting on and now you can take the last couple minutes here to make some stars I'm gonna make a moon by making a half circle and then another half circle like that then I'm gonna put a little star back here and remember draw it lightly so that when we sharpie you can sharpie over it and erase these inside lines so again another star I'll do one up here it looks like an A first okay and then you go a diagonal line up straight over and down like that so I've got two stars a moon and the basic um, bird there. I'm going to then take a little bit of texture. I'm going to do some wiggly lines, just like we saw in our PowerPoint, to show some texture on the wings. OK, and notice these ones are kind of diagonal, following along the diagonal of the inside of his wing. Then I'm going to put some texture marks right here on his belly. I'm going to make these wiggles horizontal so that they kind of look like a different set of feathers. And remember, you don't want to have big wiggles. You want to have little wiggles to make texture. And they should all look a little bit different. OK, you don't want them to look like a pattern. You want them to look a little different. OK, so there is our finished drawing.